What's up everybody? Viper here, back in Miss Survival. And today I'm going to do a guide on the bandits. How they move, why they leave the camps, can they attack their, your base, and easy ways to deal with them, especially if you're having problems with them. I've heard many times that uh, the bandits do not attack your base, which for the most part is true, but there is instances where the bandits can and will show up at your base, depending on mostly your location, and if you've been around a bandit camp before, there's there's several factors. So I'm at the White House currently, and that's usually where people have a base, or they have a base usually on this side of the map. And where your base location is, it's going to dictate which way the bandits walk out of the bandit camp and what direction they actually go. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you that right here. Best way to show you that is the city so I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna bring you back to where I get to the city all right we're closing in on the city now we're gonna have a group of uh, bandits that's going to go off along this way and then walk through the woods and they're walking that way because of where where my base is and currently that's at the White House If you have your base in a different direction, then the bandits will go pretty much in a straight line how the crow flies to your base. So let's see if we can't find these guys. Alright, I'm just going to wait for these guys to actually go out in the woods. So these guys are just running, or not running, but just nice, casually walking. Out to where the White House is, which is way over that way. If I followed these guys, I would they would eventually end up at the White House. Now I can change their directions if I have a house or a base over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign this as a base, and these bandits are going to make a beeline straight for this uh, for this base. It's going to take a while because they're walking, but they will get here. And some of them's already started to walk this way already. I gotta be careful because there's probably still some in the uh, the town. So these guys are gonna eventually turn and come straight for me. And these guys are already going towards the uh, the base that I just set up. And they're still slowly coming out and then turning. So this guy will keep going and then he'll eventually turn and head for this other uh, base. I lost him. I'm not sure where he is. So now I have a big old long line of uh, bandits just chilling out over by my base. There's still a few coming in from the city and the ones coming from the woods over here. So now I can move these guys from this kit base to uh, another base, which is just right over here.
As long as you give them enough room, they're not going to be able to see you. It's only the snipers that can see really far. So I got another base right over here. Now I'm going to select this base. And then I'm going to slowly get up on top of this hill. And we're going to watch them go from that cabin to this other cabin that I just selected to. Now they're going to all start, you know, just... There'll be a nice big long line of them heading towards the, uh, the other cabin that I just made. Those little uh, basic shelters will not do it. They, don't, they won't attract them to that basic shelter. It has to be a cabin or you know one of the, the larger cabins or uh, something you can claim as a base. As you can see, they're all just nicely filing to that uh, that base over there. So you have to be really careful of where you put your base. If it's close enough to a bandit camp, you could have a whole lot of visitors uh, with Kate and Rachel serving tea. And so you got Kate there, and then just the bandits, and Rachel's inside. So is Scott. And the bandits are just chilling. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to set this base back over here. All right, here I go. I'm switching uh, the cabin switch back to this uh, this one now. So all the bandits should be coming back. And then I'm going to head back to the White House. It's uh, 1.50, 9 o'clock in the morning. And then tomorrow I will head back up here. And we'll see the uh, bandits will actually go a different direction now. Because the first time we came here, they came out and went through here. And we're heading that way, which is where the White House is. So tomorrow when I come back here, they're not going to go this way. They're going to go straight for that, uh, that camp right there. To where Scott's hanging out in the window. So I'm going to come back here on day 151 or 2. And then we'll see them go a different direction. Alright, it's 8.38. Robin of the city. And I uh, see Scott, Kate, and Rachel out there. Let's go over here and park real quick. Hopefully the uh, bandits have reset and are back in the city somewhere. All right, so normally, or last time, first time we came here, they came through and uh, went that way. So now they're going to leave the city and basically just go straight for that uh, cabin over there. So you're going to see a change in their, their movements. So instead of coming for me in this area, they're going... They're making a beeline straight for that cabin. Alright, so now that you know their movements, you can use that to your advantage of by just having a different base somewhere or uh, so you'll understand where they're why they're moving in a certain location or a certain direction. Alright, as you can see, I got two bandits over here at the White House. There's Rach or Kate. I 
And they're just walking around the White House. So don't think your base can't be, uh, that the bandits can't come to your base, because they can. They're not supposed to currently in the game, but there is a way for them to actually show up. And if they see you, they will attack you. And their range, if you notice, their range is not really that far, how far they can see you. You can see me there. Oh, he sees me. No, he's off. The snipers now, they can see you from fucking halfway across the map. But these regular bandits, as long as you stay a decent distance from them, uh, they're not going to see you. And when you go up to a bandit base, you kind of want to uh, figure out exactly where the uh, the bandits are so you can count how many is in the, the camp and then uh, you can deal with them however you want to deal with them. So let's go ahead and uh, go over a little bit of how to deal with some of these bandits. Alright, looks like we got the uh, infected rolling around you can use uh, against the bandits is uh, the infected. You just got to sneak up in the camp and get inside it. So I'm going to get behind the camp and then I'm going to head for this uh, little trash can and then I'm going to wait until I can jump and get on those green crates and get on top of the uh, the cabin. Alright, now I'm up here. I got one there, one there, and one here. Now I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go to sleep. And I've been woken up. So I'm going to try to go back to sleep. And I should have some uh, infected around. There's one out there. So we just got to kind of wait here until the infected can actually kill them. It takes time. But it's good, like, especially early on in the game, where you can use these guys at your, for your benefit. Let's go ahead and try to sleep again. Alright, now they're going crazy. Well, that's one down. If they drop weapons, that's two down. Then they'll still be on the ground. But if they, uh,. Anything inside them will be gone. So that one actually left and ran. You know, he walked off. So I'm not sure if he's uh, going to be around. You kind of got to be careful. If uh, You kind of got to be careful when you are out searching. Because he might end up showing up. Unless you actually see him get killed. So that's the infected method. Alright, we're going to go with Spears. Spears is uh, problematic at best. If you don't hit him exactly right in the in the head, it'll take two spears to kill one. And the aim is kind of off to the right. But the closer you get to actually... Uh... Alright, here comes a dude. Is he going for a walkabout? So it'd probably be easier to go ahead and spear this guy. Or not spear him, but knife him. 
but might as well use a spear. But you want to kind of aim for the base of the neck. And then he's dead. And then put your spear back down. So you have your spears again. And then you got another one. And I missed that one. Alright, that guy heard it. So he's going to move around. He's going to be searching. So now I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. There he is over there. So you just kind of wait until he uh, stops searching. Or you can go in and try to kill him. Either it's up to you. So now he's, you know, he's back to normal. He's like, fuck it, whatever. So now you can just find out where his pattern is and uh, kill that one as well. definitely missed that one. Got one spear. One spear, I want to make sure I hit him good. So let's go back around to the other side. Just always try to have a, a way you can get away. You know, escape route or whatever. Well, there's another spear, let's grab that. That way we have two, just in case we miss. Because if we do hit him in the body, we will need another spear. If you can sneak up to him as close as you can, then you got a better chance of getting him in a good spot. And they're stupid, they can't see around certain things. And that's how you can take them out with a spear. Alright, here we got firearms, which I rarely ever will use on bandits. Um, just because they all go crazy. And it's, it's just not really worth it. It's hard to hit them when they're, they're running about. And you really need headshots. And even there I missed. But if you do get engaged, you kind of want to run away. And I'm already wounded, and I'm dead. Alright, now if you got a hunt rifle, makes it a whole lot easier. If you're far enough away, they can't even, they don't even aggro on you. That's a hunting rifle. All right, let's try the same M4, but at longer range. I can't tell if he's dead or not. Now, they ain't going crazy. Now they are. They're slowly running at me, but they're not. What are they doing? Oh, they were just stuck on a rock. All right, so now they're actually coming after me, so I need to run. Just keep running until you can get away from them, and then they'll stop running after you eventually. back up here before he kills me.
So if you stay at range, you can kill them pretty quick without, you know, taking too much damage. But you're just going to waste a lot of rounds unless you got a hunting rifle or something. All right, now we're going to get on one of my favorite methods of taking out these bandits. And that's knife and uh, bottles. Bottles are used to uh, distract them if you got to, uh, if you're trying to get into a, a certain location to be able to get behind them. And if one's like coming right at you and you have nowhere to go, you could throw a bottle and they'll go for the, the sound. But normally there's one or two that will always leave a bandit camp. So you, you just figure out who it is, follow them behind them, and then quickly uh, spam the F button. And then I'll get rid of one of them. Sometimes there is two or three that will leave a bandit camp. So you got to be careful and uh, really scope out the area before you go commit to killing anything in there. Alright, where's he at? Oh, he's over there. Alright, so he's on his little uh, rotation. So he's going to go to the front. So I'll be able to kill this guy over here. when he actually goes to the front out to where that burn barrel is straight out there by that green car you gotta make sure he does not see you when you stab this guy cause then they'll go crazy so he's going out there so I'm gonna go over here run and stab him and then I'm just gonna immediately Haul, his, haul butt out of there. Because it's probably going to... Uh, the dude's going to see him and then head for him. And he'll be searching around, so I'm going to go try to find him. So he's looking. So now you have bottles. And... Eventually, he'll lose interest and go back to his regular scheduled uh, pathing. Let's say I want him to go over there. Did he even hear it? Or go back over, over there. Sometimes it works, depends on uh, your location to them. For some reason, they don't really look up. And if you, as long as you uh, pay attention to where they're pathing, using a knife is, isn't really that hard. Alright, now we're going to go to my most preferred method. The longbow with hunting arrows. I'll switch to basic arrows here in a sec, but I'm going to get rid of most of these guys. And he's dead. Let's grab the other one. Oops. He's dead. Alright, we'll switch to basic arrows. And you need a headshot with basic arrows to kill this guy. Whoops. Damn it, he stopped. And I do have a beginning bow guide that kind of shows where you need to aim. Damn it, I'm still in, I'm missing this guy all over the place. But I'm going to try to hit him in the body, that's what I'm trying to do. And 
and it's not going to kill him. If I would have shot him with a, a hunting arrow, that would have killed him. Oh, she's right on. He's on my butt. So I'm going to have to shoot him one more time with a, uh, a basic wooden arrow. And that will kill him. So he's down. I love my bow. It's nice and quiet. And then you can always go back and pick up your arrows. Or at least the uh, hunting arrows. Sometimes these uh, basic arrows will break. Alright, next we're going to go over the snipers. Uh, several different ways you can deal with them. This is probably the cheapest way. He's not going to be able to see me. He's going to have his eyes on me. The, the Eye of Doom will probably show up. Is he still there? There he is. Okay. So as long as I keep my shield up, he won't shoot me. Kind of ridiculous, but you just keep your uh, shield facing towards him. Now the only problem with the shield method is there's usually a couple of uh, bandits that will come out of the front of that that uh, where the tower is. So those guys you got to worry about with using the shield method. So I'm just going to back out of here, or I could have just went straight. But now, you also have just a sneaky method. Once he's out of sight, you're basically going to go from tree to tree and keep the trees in between where you... Okay, here those guys are that, that's going to come out the front. Alright, so you're going to basically use from tree to tree um, to avoid his gaze. If you see him looking at you, get behind a tree. And then you got to get him all the way up to the... Uh, get Once you get up to the tower... Then just try to get up as fast as you can so you don't, uh, and then shoot them. But you want to get up here as fast as you can so you don't draw any attention from any of the guys on the ground. But that's the, uh, sneaky bow method. Alright, so here's the drive up to the base of the tower and just get up in the tower as quick as you can. So I'm going to get up in this vehicle and I'm going to drive. As fast as I can, straight up here, and I'm going to cut off the engine and basically get out. Sometimes these guys will uh, aggro on you, like they're looking at me now. But I can still sneak up into this tower. And these guys are looking for me, but they're not, they're not shooting. They don't see me. And if I use the bow, this would be really easy, but I'm going to go ahead and use the knife. So you kind of want to wait till he uh, comes around, and then you're just going to, probably just going to slash him. Where'd he go? How do you get it way over there? So I'm just going to slash him as many times as I can. It takes three shots to kill him. And you just kind of move around and keep slashing him until he's dead. But the bow will be a whole lot easier to take this guy out. But once you're up here, the rest of the, the camps and stuff are pretty easy. Alright, since uh, Rachel and them are serving tea, might as well use uh, try out a couple grenades. Geronimo. Well, I get rid of some of them. I 
And that one shot just, uh, I have bleeding and severely wounded. So that's a fun way you can deal with those bandits is, uh, grenades. But it doesn't kill them all. And, uh, as you can see, you can't damage your, uh, your NPCs. But I am looking forward to where you can actually move those, uh, those barrels that actually blow up in the mine. Uh, cause that'd be a good way to just clear out all these bandits in one little shot. Alright, here we go. Last thing we're going to go over is, uh, dying inside a bandit camp. And then reviving. Now if you revive, good chance that every one of those bandits are going to be gone. Now you also have to worry about, uh, losing durability and actually losing items. As you can see, I can actually dropped everything before I actually did that. And I lost a lot of durability in my uh, spear. I didn't lose my longbow or the bottles or the knife. But I am severely injured, which will take a long time to fix these injuries. But I should be able to go back and then uh, those bandits are going to be gone. Which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I hope that is fixed at some point so that does not happen. I wouldn't mind reviving and actually having to go back and get my stuff or whatever. But right now it's... You just go back through and all the bandits are gone. So if you're looking for weapons or something, uh, good chance you're not going to get them. I should have walked over here and then have my vehicle so I could drive back. I'm running too much so my I'm bleeding. But I just want to see if these bandits are back over here. And as you can see there's uh the bandits are cleared out. They're no longer here. So I do not like to revive uh, when the bandits kill me. So just be careful when you're reviving or reloading the save, the, the save. Normally before I go and attack a bandit camp, I'll save it before I go in there. That way if I die, I just reload so I can actually still go and kill the bandits and not have to, to cheese it like this. But if you go back in after you revive and the bandits are no longer there, this is why. And it works pretty much in almost every camp. So just be aware of it. And another thing, if uh, in certain bandit camps, they will spawn, you know, rather quickly. So when you save, quit, and uh, say I saved it right here, I could load back into the game and there could be bandits around me killing me every time. And there might not be any way to... Uh, uh, you know, to survive. Because if those three bandits are respawned right here, and I just popped in, and they just kill me immediately, so I do not save in a bandit camp. If I did, I would have to make sure that I was completely safe. Like I was maybe back here or something. Um, or hiding under cover where bandits usually don't walk. If you're going to save in a bandit camp, make sure you save somewhere safe. Because you do not want to load back in and all of a sudden you're going to be surrounded. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up my bandit guide. I probably missed something. Uh, I'm sure I did. But I just wanted to get this guide out there. Because a lot of people are under the assumption that the bandits cannot show up at your base. It was taken out of the game a long time ago where they used to actually attack your base like frequently. But it is still a possibility with the way the mechanics are with the bandits. They still leave their bandit camp and head straight for your town, your base. If your base is close enough, then you could have a whole buttload of bandits always spawning around you. Or coming to your base, not really spawning. but And depending on how close your base is, you can have the random guys that come out of the base and actually will walk to it. But for the most part, they will vanish and go back to the bandit camp. But there is times when they will actually just 
hang out at your base and you're like, what the hell's going on here? So be careful and uh, hopefully you can use this information uh, to be able to take take down the bandits a little bit easier or uh, at least you understand their movements and why they're going a certain direction outside the the camp when they leave or or whatever. But hopefully this will help you. All right, this video goes out to gaming simulations because without him, I wouldn't have uh, even thought about making this video. Uh, he's another small YouTuber. I'll put him up, put a link in the description along with all the other uh, fellow missed YouTubers. So he's a pretty funny guy if you want to check him out. Um, but he had a someone in this comment section that uh, told me that bandits cannot attack your base and do not go to your base. So there's just a little bit of wrong information out there and the game's glitchy. So I guess it's expected. But thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or whatever, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you all later.